Welcome back to the Boozy Bookworm. It is so nice talking to my camera again, but really talking to you guys. This last month has been pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, wedding things are ramping up and like I don't know how that happened, but we're like T minus three months away, so that's terrifying. <laughs> But let's get into it because we're not here to talk about wedding things. On today's docket, we're going to be talking about Furyborn by Claire Legrand. And I want to preface this now. If you really loved this book or this series, this video is not going to be for you. Because while I thought it was okay, I thought it was okay. We're having, I don't know what I want to call it. Um, it's not a meal. It's in a meal glass, but that's because I think it's pretty. Um, it's seltzer water, apple green apple, Jack Daniels, and lemon juice. And it's pretty good, not gonna lie. What it has to do with a book is beyond me. It's just what I had in my fridge and my cabinet, so cheers. I'm also gonna get like a 4.5 out of 5 because it's got fruit in it, so it's a drink and a snack. So right off the bat, let me tell you, I thought this was an incredibly original and creative idea with the, the not parallel, but like, kind of, I don't know, it, I guess let's backtrack. This book takes place in a city town of Orlean, and there's a prophecy that there will be a blood queen and a sun queen, both of which can control all of the elements, but the blood queen, you know, kind of naturally, will bring doom and destroy the world, and the sun queen can save it. And so those are kind of the prophecies that are going along. Where I think it fell short, though, is in the execution, because I just don't understand what was happening. And I don't really think it was on me, because, like, I take extensive notes. Like, I'm paying attention. I still have no idea what was happening. The book starts with Riel and a little boy, Simon, and Riel is giving birth to a baby, and she is the Blood Queen, which is not spoiling anything because you literally find that out book one, but I also, I don't care about spoilers, sorry. And she sends him away with Simon because something's happening. I don't know, Simon's a little boy, he's like eight and he's a Mark, Marquis, Marks, and he can jump time, well he jumps the wrong time and gets separated from the baby, and anyway, that baby ends up being Eliana, but like a thousand years in the future? So I mean, I guess it does kind of make sense to me. I just, I don't know, I, I'm i just a little, like, intoxicated, maybe. Also, the way I tell this review is going to be a little difficult because Rael's story starts off at her present, or doom, demise, if you will. At the same time, Riel's beginning starts, but then time jumps, and then we go back to Rael's beginnings, so before the beginning of the book, and then we go to Eliana's like current lifetime, a thousand years in the future. It's a little, it's a little, huh? um, but that's that's so that's how this is gonna go. And I will also say this I liked Riel's story so much better, and y'all can come after me for that if you want, but let me tell you why. Riel is just kind of an ordinary girl who is friends with the prince, Prince Audric, Audric, and this girl, Ludivine. I don't really know how you pronounce their names, but anyway, the three of them are friends, and Riel is crushing heavy on Audric and, and, or, but, um, <laughs> Ludivine and Audric are engaged. I think they're cousins, so, but this is during a time when anything will fly. And Riel, as we find out from the very first chapter, um, is got all these powers. She can control all of the elements. And during her story, as we know from the first chapter, we know she's the Blood Queen. But going back in time, no one else knows that. And so they find out she can control all the elements and they're like, oh my gosh, the Sun Queen's here because why would you automatically be like, doom? Although that's what I do, so. To test her, they are going to put her through seven trials because they need to see how she does and can she master it or is she this blood crazy terrible queen that can just murder everyone because she can do everything. And I think that's why her story is more interesting to me because you get to see all of her like internal thinkings and all of the 
like restraint that it takes to be able to control all the elements. I don't know. I can't even control myself half the time. So can't even imagine having to control seven elements. But so I, I just think her storyline so much better. I also love her relationship with Audric. Surprise, there is one. Anyway, so her story kind of it, it it is what it is until you know the first chapter of the book so you know it's a it's a weird time frame um but she ends up getting with audric and ludivine is like cool with it which is weird um but i guess not weird because i think i really think they're cousins so it was weird enough that they were engaged in the first place but like she doesn't want to be engaged which again they're cousins so good where was i going with this i don't know real is better team real so now let's jump to Eliana's story and Eliana's story is the one that confused the absolute piss out of me. I still don't know what was happening. I mean, I do, but I also don't. There's rebels, there's a, a, there's a bad emperor, rebels naturally cuz whenever, you know, there's always a rebellion. But she's an ass I don't know what she is an assassin for the emperor even though she hates the emperor and like she's doing it to save her family. But then women are going missing randomly. She's just trying to save her brother and herself. But then Simon shows up, but she doesn't know Simon shows up because she was a baby and he was not. And so she doesn't know anything and she doesn't like him. I have zero clue what went on in Eliana's part of the story, if that's not blatantly clear. Oh, and also Eliana is like immortal, kind of, like, but not. I don't know. She can like jump off buildings and stuff and be fine. But she is she can die. I just don't understand. <laughs> but anyway, we find out that she's the Sun Queen. And her mom, who is Riel, which she finds out and is weird because she's like, that lady lived like a thousand years ago. And Simon's like, well, yeah, but like I did a thing, you know, because I can do that. And she's like, yeah, they weren't even supposed to time travel. <laughs> like, that's the thing. They were just supposed to move to a another, like, country. And somehow they end up, like, way in the future. I mean, to be fair, he is, he was, like, eight years old, so. And I guess it's not really fair for me to judge how an eight-year-old moves through space and time, considering I can't do that, so. Oh, and it turns out that Mark's... Marcus, Marcus, those are half human, half angel creatures, and that's what Simon is, so he's half angel. But it turns out that angels aren't a good thing in this book. Do you guys see where the confusion is? Anyway, there's some fighting that goes on and occurs. I mean, she pulls out of the battle, okay, and snack. Yeah, so she wins a battle, and then she herself and everyone around her knows that she's a sun queen. I think I already said that. I don't know. Um, but so that's really kind of it. Eliana's gonna go do sun queen things and Riel's dead. So I don't know how that works with the next books. Onward to the breakdown. Cover design will get a four. I really like this cover. I mean, it's just simplistic. It's got the pop of color. It really is a pretty cover. It makes you think it's going to be great. Unfortunately, in my opinion, that wasn't really the case. So here's the other thing about me. Like I, even if I hate a book or I don't even want to say hate because that's like a little aggressive. Even if I don't like a book, I still have to finish it. So it makes me like almost resent it more because I'm like, oh, you wasted my time. Now prepare to die on the bookshelf and never be touched again. Characters are gonna get a 2.5, mainly because the only character I really liked was Riel. She's like the only one that like really did anything for me. Eliana's kind of like a naive, self-absorbed teenage girl and like, I say self-absorbed, which is funny because her whole thing is protecting her brother, but like, is it really? I don't know. I guess she kind of protects him, but she's also kind of... She gives me Selena vibes, except I liked Selena, so... Plot I will give a 4 to because it is really inventive. I really like the concept. I thought, you know, it's, it's a cool concept. It just wasn't... I don't know. There's so much going on. I don't... I don't know... I really don't know how I would tell it any better. All I know is that it just really, really didn't do it 
for me personally. Ending is going to get a three, mainly because it's smack dab in the middle of meh. I mean, I guess it is, you know, it's a series, there's more coming, things are gonna happen, but like, one, how is Riel gonna, Riel's story going to go forward? Like, it can't, so now it's just Eliana? And I don't, oh god, I don't know that I want more of her. I mean, maybe it'll help with the, the confusion up here, but I just, I don't, and uh, Book Drop's gonna get a one, because like where? Where? I sat here for a good like 10 minutes in between recording trying to figure out where it is, what, what the Book Drop is, but I, we know right off the bat that Riel's the Blood Queen because that's what they say in the beginning, so there's no Book Drop there when we find out that she's not the Sun Queen, that she's in fact the Blood Queen. And uh, being that this book is about two females and the prophecy is about two queens, um, there's no book trap when we find out that if Riel is the blood queen, Eliana is the sun queen by default. So I just don't... Maybe that's what did it for me. And apart from all the confusion is like, where is the what? Other than the confusion. I had a lot of what's, but not a lot of what's. Which gives Furyborn a 2.9 out of five, which is pretty, pretty good because I gave it a three on Goodreads. So like, I'm like pretty spot on. I feel like it's harsh. It is what it is. It, it wasn't my favorite. That's it for this month's episode. I hope you liked it. Stay boozy, my friends. Mm -hmm.